Yeah, you know, very physical, very loud. Noles, your, your thoughts on that one? There were a few turnovers from your team and ultimately that's what drew the game in the end. So, yeah, give us your initial reaction to that game. Yeah, uh, an awesome game, I think, from both teams. Definitely at certain time the ball turned over or we were able to turn over their ball and just weren't able to secure it and take it through. Always comes down to, you know, certain moments that do happen and uh, I think also we had ball in hand. Uh, and that last centre pass probably had 30 seconds which we could have drained that clock but uh, didn't so we ended up in a, in a draw. There were a number of changes that you made throughout that entire game, some work, some potentially were still finding their feet, were you happy with, with the changes that you made? Yeah sort of in some respects and then some we actually got on top and then probably went back down again a wee bit um, and it's probably uh, one of the things that we can look at. It's also p people being having the ability to perform under pressure and that's the only way that you can they can learn those sort of skills unless you're out there. Uh, defensively you picked up so many balls, are you happy with the combinations that are sort of solidifying themselves down at the defensive end? Yeah, very much so. It's quite crazy because when you look at the stats, uh, our stats are actually not too bad. We have something like 55% possession of the ball, um, our shooting percentages are something like 90% in comparison to 76 even though we drew so you know there's some really positive things so we've got to take the, the draw on the chin we didn't lose so but we've got a you know it means a big day tomorrow just a few from me then i'll pass it over yes a big day tomorrow jamaica at 11 a.m how do you prep for that game given the short turnaround yeah um we've got to once again go back we've got to recover really well that's probably the very first thing and we'll meet later on tonight to start our work in regards to uh, jamaica probably a few things we've got to clean off from this game first before we can move forward. And Mills, I'll come to you as a playing group, you know it was extremely loud out there, the crowd were absolutely amazing. Give us your thoughts of, of playing in front of that crowd, like how tough was it to communicate with your players? Yeah we definitely knew it was going to be loud, we talked about it, um, you know we had some strategies around it as well too, for us it was about being really united, if we couldn't do it because we couldn't hear each other, came down to physical touch, could we look each other in the eyes and those kind of things. Something that we still um, need to continue to grow because you know we yeah, the crowd was amazing for their home team, so that's exactly what we expected. And finally, as a leader, how do you regroup the players in order to get them ready for tomorrow's big match? I think it's actually good that we play earlier. I actually just can't wait to get back out there on court. We've just got to be really clear, um, find some heart in what we're going to put out tomorrow. Not that we didn't have it today, because we definitely did. Um, but yeah, I actually can't wait to get out there. I'm, I'm excited we don't have to wait a full day. Hey Niles, um, you talked a lot in the build up in regards to those camps about pressure, about seeing how people reacted under pressure and obviously there was a lot of pressure on both teams out there. Do you feel that your team cracked under the pressure a little bit at the end there? Hey, 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 calm down mate. Hey, a draw, it's a draw, hey. let's, let's put this out there, it's a draw. I hate the word crack because I think that's disrespectful to people and if you want to put that out on the lines, I, I don't really like that word. Um, I think there were areas that people could have done better. Um, but that's how it goes. Um, I thought they rose to the occasion. I actually thought it was a really good game. There were areas, once again, um, that we were 90% 90 shooting uh, in comparison to 76. We had 55% on the position of the ball in comparison to 44. When we needed to turn over in that last 30 seconds or hold the ball, we didn't. Um, so I think, uh, you know, those are the things that we need to just keep learning um, and moving forward. Mills, I know you went on the court at the end there, but can you talk from a player perspective about how that last sort of 30 seconds went? I mean, I was actually really proud of how our girls, all of our girls who went out on court, we've always talked about people have to go out there and they have to bring themselves, and I honestly think that they went out there and did that. Um, I have so much belief in everybody who was out there on court, and that's a massive thing that, you know, we're not going to change that. We have that belief in each other and in the group. We were up, you know, man, we were up and we were there on court with them as well too. So in the end, it comes down to, like Noel said, that one moment. And it was, you know, that one moment um, that, yeah, that ball went. So, but you can count back to so many moments. Everybody can own one of those moments as well too. So we're not going to hang it on that one at all too. We all can um, all can own one of those moments. Obviously, South Africa started to game your sentence in the second half. At what point do you think they started to, to take over the game from a player perspective? hard to say one particular point. Their crowd was loud, they were loud and they were big as well too. We just need to continue to push together and go forward together and stay really united and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. No, Noles, what adjustments are going to be the main things for heading into the Jamaican game? Yeah, I think once again we're getting enough ball defensively. We've got to be able to take it through. 
probably a bit uh, purposeful more in our lines that we're presenting to each other. I think we still have to take the body on or take the line a bit better. Um, and when we do that, we're quite effective or we get the penalty pulled. So um, I just think taking our foot, just better skill set. There was times that we put the ball into our shooting end, hard or high and lifted. I didn't believe that we should or ne that was necessary. So those little things at certain times are costly. Um, so, you know, we just need to keep things simple. Yeah, Coach Newby, uh, you did say before the match you were shit scared of, of Coach Norma. Did she surprise you tonight with the way South Africa came out? No, just... not at all. We, we had actually talked about that last night. It wasn't only South Africa, the team on the court, but it was also the people. Uh, it was amazing. You know, the, the stands and everything, the music that was played, you could feel the vibe and, uh, I mean, I know we're through, but um, it was an amazing uh, spectacle, spectacle to be a part of. And again, uh, South Africa obviously needs to make it to beat you guys tomorrow and they need to beat Uganda by a sizable score. Are you expecting the home, home fans to get behind the Jamaicans tomorrow as well? Yeah, good question. We're just expecting, the only thing honestly I think we can expect is us to be behind each other. We have to go in with that mentality. We can't really expect um, to use the crowd um, for us because this isn't our home. So we just have to rely on the energy that we can bring for each other. Uh, just two questions. Yeah. Um, Nolene, were you tempted to bring me around back on in that, that, that last quarter or, or did the moment kind of pass? Did it just happen so quickly? Yeah, I thought it was actually tracking along quite nicely. There was quite nice space to start off with initially. I thought actually Tiana pulled the defence and I thought that was quite good. And actually before, before um, it was probably about the last three, four minutes that before you know it, it sort of went like how it did. So up to that point, I actually felt comfortable. Unfortunately, the Jamaica series in September last year didn't do a lot to help you prepare for tomorrow's game. Only three players from that series are here. You've got to hit the ground running. How crucial is it to get a good start? Yeah, very much so. I think our starts have been not too bad here. Um, we also remember the experience we had in Commonwealth Games against them, uh, which they had had right from the start. We coughed up the first couple of balls. So. Um, that's something that we've been talking about and working on and I think we're actually tracking nicely in that respect but it's going to be real pure discipline um, and our ability to fight for every ball. On the floor, uh, hi coach, how much pressure do you think uh, Amalia, Amalia and Maia were feeling with defence, chanting defence, defence all the time? Uh, I mean, oh, with the Maia who scored 37, that was played I think 90 points something percent. How much pressure do you think we're feeling? We're feeling? Yeah. Do you want her to act? Do you want her to answer? Please. Okay. Yeah, um, I think, I mean the pressure's always there for us as shooters, but that's our job. We have to constantly remind ourselves that it's our job to turn and shoot. If the medias can deliver us a really good ball, even if they can't, we have to continue to go to post. Um, we know that we're just going to continue as the, as the competition goes along to come up against harder and harder defenders, but we have had also a lot of respect to um, South African defenders tonight. I think they did a really great job. Um, it's just something we just have to continue to go and do our job and work together. Thank you. Right, thank you. That's it, thank ladies you. and gentlemen.